What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Malik. Coming to you with another video. I've been slacking pretty hard, but today's a special occasion. I have officially been one year on T. The year has flown by. It has went by really, really fast. Um, it's not been what exactly what I have expected, but I can't say that I'm unhappy altogether with my progress because progress is progress. I mean, if you think about it like this, um, cis males start hitting puberty at what 11 or 12, and they don't look <laughs> any really different until they start getting to like maybe. 15, 16, so that's like four or five years. So it takes time. I just, it's teaching me just to be patient. Um, I still get misgendered a lot. Um, not as much as, uh, it, it's getting better. My voice has dropped. Uh, you probably could tell that my voice has dropped. Uh, uh, a good little bit in just the past two weeks actually up until two weeks ago my voice was still pretty high I was kind of distraught about it but now it's starting to drop I went to my um, endo and uh, had my blood work checked and it was high so she was like skip a week and then go back down to 0.5 so I did that and um I don't know because my voice started dropping before that that's not probably not the reason because my voice was dropping like even when I had gotten the test and said it was high or whatever but I, I don't know it's it's doing something it's doing something um my weight loss journey has been at a standstill because I don't know and it might be because of the hormones also like because I've been at 298 for three weeks. I've been doing the diet. I've been going to the gym. And I have not lost a pound. But I will not be detoured. I, you know, uh, it's something else I just have to be patient with and keep, keep plugging away. I don't know, I'm, I need to maybe re-examine what I'm eating. I, I feel like I've been eating like at a deficit. But feeling like you're eating at a deficit and eating at a deficit can be two different things. So I think I'm just going to start buckling down and logging everything that I eat. That might help um, to see if this actually, before I blame it on the hormones, to see if it's actually just me eating too much. You know, because even... Um, when you're eating low carb or keto or you know what I'm saying you can still overeat uh, eat, eat, eat too much or eat the wrong things also what might be making my weight stall is because my doctor my other doctor not my endo will not give me my high blood pressure pills which also because I, my pressure is high I also retain water so that is that could be why um, my weight hasn't really moved because for the last but it's only been the last week and a half that I've been out of blood pressure medicine so it hasn't been the whole full three weeks and uh, she wants me to come in and I'm really busy and my endo sent her my blood work so I was like could you just give me the medicine? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call her and see if she'll do it. Because I mean, I can't come in right now. Like, I don't have any days off. I can't take any time off. I mean, capitalism. Anybody, you know what I'm saying? I have to pay my bills. I have to work to have insurance in the first beginning. So, I mean, that's how it is sometimes. <sighs> I don't. It's. I'm happy about my transition. I, I'm happy you. Know, I kind of, you know, was feeling away about my voice, but I, it's like, as soon as I accepted the world, this just might be my voice, well, it started to drop, so I'm happy about that, you know, 
Um, uh, changes. Uh, the rate of hair growth on my body is one up. My voice is dropped, as you can probably hear. Um, no other real changes. There's uh, like some muscular development since I've been going to the gym for the past like three weeks. Or back to the gym. And you know, from the time that I was going to the gym, I was like in month six or seven or whatever, and I uh, went back for the first time two weeks ago, and she was like, uh, it's been 127 days since you last checked in. And I was like, oh man, that's, that's a lot. But I'm back now, you know, trying to get in a group, doing, doing this 90 day program. Give myself 90 days to lose 40 pounds and uh, try to really get this thing on track because, you know, being this overweight is pretty bad. Getting up there in years and gotta get this straightened out once and for all. Um, I mean, I'm sure that even like, let's say if I was doing all the right things, I'm sure that I'm kind of losing weight in some way but I don't pay enough attention to my body to notice those differences so I only use the scale and maybe I should stop there maybe I should go and take my measurements and you know because there's other ways to track progress in uh, weight loss so that's it for right now YouTube I'll try to make some more videos or more frequently maybe every two weeks instead of every month because every sometimes it's every month and then it turns into a month and a half so so all right youtube peace out